We recently updated our Thrive Content Builder to version 1.5 and in this video I want to explain a feature that at first glance may make very little sense. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and if you haven't seen the previous video about the new Thrive Content Builder version yet, check out the link below to take a look at that. Because right now I want to jump in and show you one of the new features that may be a bit strange when you first see it. So for demonstration purposes, we have a layout here and I want to quickly show you the thing I'm talking about. We've got an option here that says reverse column order. So let's actually go ahead and we've got these nicely numbered and colored button buttons here. And let's go ahead and on the second row, I'm going to choose reverse column order. So the first row is normal. The second row is reversed order. Now, if we preview this and we pretend to be on a mobile device, well, we'll see we have one, two, three, four. We have the buttons nicely in a row. Then as it gets smaller, here we go. It starts stacking and at first, we still have one, two, three, four, as you'd expect, but then on a very, very narrow, like a mobile style screen, you can see the first row goes one, two, three, four, and the second row goes four, three, two, one. So that is what's meant with reverse order. It means that once the columns stack on top of each other in a single column, you can change the order in which they stack. Now that seems weird, right? Why would you want to do that? Well, there is a specific example of why you'd want to do that. And I made that further down. So if we look at the full width here, here is a typical kind of layout that you might have on a sales page to present some features, which is what I call a zigzag layout where you have image on the left, text on the right, and then image on the right, text on the left, and then image on the left, text on the right again. This is a nice way to kind of break up the formatting and, you know, instead of just having everything aligned the same way, makes it look a bit more interesting, makes it look nicer. The problem is with a layout like this, if we don't have a lot of screen space and this starts stacking, here we go. We'll have this problem. We'll have image text, which is fine, but then text image, image text. So here this layout becomes really messy actually. Um, and it doesn't look very nice at all anymore. And the reverse order is the way to fix that. So in our editor, what we want to do is here we have this layout and right here on the second column, we want to do reverse order. So the normal order is always that the leftmost column will be at the top. And here we want to change that here we want the left column to be at the top here we want the right column to be at the top and here the left column again. So if I save this and then we check the preview and again, we're looking at a mobile style preview. Now we have image, text, image, text, image, text, which looks much nicer and much cleaner. So that quite simply is the reason for this reverse order option on the column container. In the last video, I mentioned that I would talk a bit more about this version number 1.5 and what it means, because we have made this jump forward in versions. Thrive Content Builder is now Thrive Content Builder 1.5. And the reason we're calling it 1.5 is because to us, this is a halfway point to Thrive Content Builder 2.0. The changes we made here are nice, but they're really mostly just a foundation for much bigger changes that we want to bring. So for a long time, we have been listening to feedback and doing a lot of testing to find out what we can do to take the Thrive Content Builder to the next level. And we've started doing a lot of work on this. Thrive Content Builder 1.5 is our milestone of some changes that we could release and some foundational stuff we could do while keeping Content Builder as it is. The next update, and it might be quiet in terms of Thrive Content Builder updates for a while, but the next update you will see is going to be a massive user interface update. So everything about Thrive Content Builder is going to be improved. And because it's a user interface change, we have to do it all at once, right? We can't have like part of the user interface look different. I'm very excited to bring you these changes and I wish I could show it to you already, but of course we still have quite a bit of work to do. But I wanted to let you know that we have been gathering all this feedback and we've been listening to your suggestions for a long time 
and everything is going to be built into Thrive Content Builder 2.0. The only reason why we haven't released more changes and more feature requests in the current version of Thrive Content Builder is because we've been building this totally new version. But as it is, this is also another opportunity for you to let us know what you like most about Thrive Content Builder, what you hate most about it, what annoys you about it, and what you would like to see in Thrive Content Builder 2.0. So let us know by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I really look forward to hearing your feedback.